Hello, my name is Stephen Carr, and I'd like to welcome you to another SketchUp cooking class. The objective of today is to create a salt box house. Uh, to create the salt box house, again, we're just going to use the rectangle command and the push pull, and we'll be adding some other things that uh, are necessary to make it into a nice looking house. Now, um, to do this, we would like to create layers that we can put our different objects on so that we can isolate them. So if you click on your window and you click on layers, you'll see that we get the layer command. By clicking on the plus sign, it gives you another layer, which will be layer one. You can rename that to base. Click on the plus, level one, plus, level two, plus roof, plus dormer, plus deck. So this gives us our basic layers that we want to work with. Now we have three rules that we're going to try to follow for, through the, this exercise. The first rule is we're going to draw the object on layer zero. The second is we're going to select it, make it into a group. And the third, we're going to use our entity info to change it from layer zero to the appropriate layer. So let's start by creating a rectangle. This rectangle should be 30 feet by 30 feet. And now we'll pull this up 30 inches. So with the select tool, we'll just do a window around this. Right click, make group, right click, and then at the top you see entity info. Entity info tells us that it was created on layer zero or what we, the group is made in layer zero. And we're going to just change that to the base layer. Okay, now what happens by changing that to the base layer is if I turn the base layer off, it disappears. So because this is a group, I can't pull it up anymore, so I need to put another rectangle on top here and pull this up nine feet. Turn off my base layer, select my rectangle, my box, make it a group, and right click Entity Info and change this to First Level. So can, you can see again by turning them off or on, the layers disappear. So again, I'm going to create another, uh, my level two. So I do a rectangle again. This time I'm just going to pull it up eight feet. And turn off my level one and my base. So now I can just select this, right click, make group. Entity Info, change that to Level 2. Okay, so now I have these uh, three levels here. Um, again, the idea is that we have control. We can turn things off or on as we need to. So now we're going to do our basic roof construction. So again, we'll just start by doing a rectangle so that we've got our main surface. We'll turn off our, um, let's just turn off the other la layers for now. And I'm going to use the offset command. We want a two foot overhang. So I'm just going to offset this by 24 inches or two foot. And then I want to erase the inside lines. Now I want to pull this up eight inches. Sorry. Now, this is obviously a flat roof, so to make the peak, what we're going to do is draw a line from corner to the opposite corner, and same this way. And then with the move command, I can grab the center point and pull it up in the blue axis, eight feet. Again, select everything, right click, make group. And if you have your entity info, right-click Entity Info, or if it's here, this becomes the roof. So now we can turn all our other layers on. And we can turn the roof layer off if we want. Now I'd like to make a deck on the bottom. My rectangle command, just across the face. And then I'm just going to pull this out 10 feet. And this is a good idea to use the face rather than do a rectangle and pull it up. 
Mind you, you could still make it the same, but if we're using dimensions and this goes out a little bit, you could have a problem here. Anyway, this is fine. So we've got this here. I'll turn off my base and my first level. Select this, right click, make group, and put this on my deck layer. Okay, so things are going along pretty smoothly. I'm going to create a lower roof over the deck and around the uh, salt box house to add a nice feature. So we'll start off by doing a rectangle across here. And this rectangle should be 30 foot by 12 inches. 30 foot comma 12. And again, I'm going to just pull this out. Same distance here, 10 feet. Um, but what I want to do also is I want to be able to go all the way around. So I'm just going to actually extend this by 12 inches and rotate this around here. Extend this by 12 inches. And if we want to, we can even pull out the front by 12 inches. This just gives us a little bit bigger area to work with. Um, now what I need to do is try to create a similar roof line in the front here. So to do that, I'm just going to give myself a construction line. Now, to give myself a construction line, if I click on the tape measure tool, I can just click on this edge, on the edge, not the end, but on the edge, and I can find the midpoint. When I find the midpoint, I let it go, and it gives me a center line that I can use as a for a reference. So now I'm just going to take my pencil tool, go from here, and just find a point somewhere on here that I'm happy with. That looks good come across to here, that's good. Now I need to come out to my outside corner and come up to here, from my outside corner and come up to here. This gives me this nice little shape here. So now what I have here is I have um, a little area that I can work with. Let's just turn off my level one and my level two for a second. I don't need this line anymore, so I'm just going to erase it because it just can get in the way if, if I'm not careful. So now if I put on my um, level one again, you can see that I have a little, I'll just zoom in here so we can see it. We can see that we have a little area here that I'd like to draw a line from here all the way up to there. All right. So now what I want to do is um, I want to use follow me to make this little profile go all the way around. So to do that, I'm going to uh, turn off my roof layer for now and I'm going to uh, just create a rectangle around here. Sorry, rectangle. Then I can turn off my level one layer, my base layer, so it's out of the way. So I don't need this line here again, so I'm going to just erase this. And this leaves me these lines that I can use for a path. So if you remember from using the follow me, there's two things we do. First, we select the path, which is these three lines. Second, we, we pick the tool. Third, we pick the profile, and it goes all the way around. So that's that's just perfect. I'm just going to erase this now. Erase that. Erase that. And do the same thing on this side. Erase this one. This one. Underneath, I can do the same thing. And just zoom extents, orbit around. So now what I've done is I have created a lower roof. So I'm just going to select this all. And again, I'm going to select from left to right. I don't want to select the construction line. I'm going to make this into a group. And I'm going to put this onto the roof layer. 
And of course it disappears because the roof layer is turned off. Turn the roof layer on, my level one, level two, my base level, and that's getting us in pretty good uh, position here. So I'm going to uh, save my drawing and we'll at, this will be the end of this section and we'll be going into adding doors and windows uh, in the next section. So thanks a lot and we'll see you soon.